You'll see more innovation in the next 10 years than you have in the last 100 years. This worldwide almost arms race to get to greater safety, greater efficiency, greater personalization in the vehicle, much of it's going to be led from this territory out here in China. Just recently, we had an opportunity to catch up with Patrick Little, who's the head of automotive for Qualcomm. In early November, chipmaker Qualcomm joined major Chinese automakers in Shanghai to demonstrate Cellular Vehicle to Everything Technology, or CV2X. CV2X is a real-time data network that allows cars to communicate around corners, warn each other about road conditions, receive messages from things like traffic lights, and detect pedestrians who can't be seen. Dedicated Short Range Communications, DSRC, does many of the same things as CV2X using technology that's related to Wi-Fi. Cadillac has it in some cars, and automakers including Volkswagen and Toyota have pledged to put DSRC in many of their cars in the next few years. But strong support for CV2X in China, the world's largest car market, might help make this technology the world's dominant system. What's the difference between the Chinese market and other places where 5G is being adopted and connected cars are already hitting the road. Barriers to entry seem to be lower here. The modem uptake in the car is really starting to, although it's coming from a lower level, is really starting to accelerate. The discussions with the Chinese automakers are, what is the experience we'd really like to bring about? And Qualcomm, how can we use your technology to get there as fast and as safely as possible? The Chinese government has set aside spectrum in the 5.9 gigahertz band for CV2X networks and the country's National Development and Reform Commission expects coverage across 90% of big cities and major highways by 2020. A rollout on that scale is likely to make CV2X more attractive in other parts of the world. There were nearly 29 million cars and trucks sold in China in 2017, compared with about 17 million in the US and 15 million in Europe. That kind of scale drives down costs, and low cost is critical to driving technology adoption. CV2X is also riding on promised compatibility with 5G. While it can be implemented with LTE, as in China's current strategy, supporters argue that CV2X will be able to ride cellular advances into the next generation and use components developed for 5G. 5G, certainly it's going to deliver a bunch of wonderful applications to the car and over-the-top content, but as you asked, safety is one of the more critical values, one of the important values that 5G is able to deliver. So cellular V2X will move from 4G mode to 5G mode, and as it does, the use models will, the use models will really develop. And for example, in 5G cellular V2X, you'll be able to share sensors with those cars ahead. So not only understand that there's a, an accident ahead, but actually share that sensor data and get either yeah, a video, real-time real -time yeah. sensor data coming into the car. Yeah.